to dust or ashes to ashes. Which one would you prefer? The answer definitely depends on an individual's preference. But with public cemeteries in the capital Accra already becoming full, could cremation become an option for the public to explore? There's no place to bury the dead in all the major public cemeteries in the capital, Accra. The Accra Metropolitan Assembly has resorted to burial in old graves with no tombstones and in-between spaces. Compounding this problem, the living have also paid to have their graves reserved for them. We are using old or marked graves. Some of the graves are not marked, are not marked. so we are, we are doing what we call reburial. You know, we, 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 we don't assume actually, but we bury on top of it. Cemeteries are old and people are dying and it is our responsibility to, you know, uh, dispose of their body hygienically, you know, so that's the, the truth. There are other options of disposal, you know, cremation is one of the options. But people are not patronizing that method of burial. According to Dr. Simpson in Imboaten, all efforts by the Accra Metropolitan Assembly to get land for burial sites have proved futile. You see, if you go to Aoudome Cemetery, there are two wings. One of the wings has been closed for a very long time. You know, we are thinking, in fact, we have proposed to the Assembly, you know, that we want to reuse that portion which has been closed for a very long time you know so that is an option we are considering because if you look around there's nowhere we can there's no land anywhere you know we try to get some land around you know beyond Kaswa, and the, the chiefs are asking for too much you know it's too much and uh, it is so very, very far away from Accra, so it is, I mean, it is an option we had to drop. For now, the Accra Metropolitan Assembly is urging the public to explore cremation option to ease the pressure on public cemeteries. But is the public ready to explore this option? Uh, what can you put on your fire burning? You are not a, a, a fish to be burning. Yeah, at least you have to be learning about how a woman being so that doctor will get more knowledge about how woman being is and the sickness will happen to everybody and then they will know about it but if they burn you you are not a fish no no it's not necessary to be burning people on it you are not a fish to be burning you are at least it's a fish that you have put on fire how can you put woman be on a fire just imagine if you are standing seeing your your brother and your sister putting on the fire you will be happy it's not fair. And it's me like this. It's here I'm working. So when I die, very soon they'll get space to bury me here. So here is my own town. What about religious leaders? The Catholic Church has uh, rights, rules, and regulations. And the regulations concerning our practices are contained in this book, which is called the Code of Canon Law. And so the, this code has something to say about cremation. If you read um, Canon 1176, number, uh, seven, uh, number 3, it says that the church recommends the pious exercise of burial for dead bodies, but it also permits cremation for those who may want it to be done. But those who ask for cremation shouldn't do so um, with views or uh, proposals which are contrary to the church's teaching on human uh, body. That means what, for example, if somebody asks for cremation because he, he or she disregards the human body, that cannot be permitted to be done. Or if somebody wants cremation to be done for him when he dies because he doesn't have any faith in the resurrection, that cannot be done. So clearly there are two things. The church prefers burial. And, but permits cremation. The concept of 
cremation does not find any expression in the Quran because it is not part of our tradition or teachings or prescription regarding burial and funeral. So therefore there's no mention of it. Secondly, um, our second source of Islamic knowledge, thought, theology, and law, which is the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, what he did and what he said and what he acquiesced on, all do not give any indication um, regarding the practice of cremation. However, cremation has become a certain tradition now among certain cultures and circumstances uh, make creating the need for such a practice to be discussed and to be considered whether it can be an alternative uh, kind of um, burial or, or funeral and so on and so forth. And I think that that's what raises this question and brings it to this. So if, if, if we have to go strictly by the Quran, then we say that um, there is no practice of cremation in, in Islam. According to the Ghana Cremation Society, cremation is known to have been practiced by the Greeks as far back as 1500 BC during times of war. Cremation, though alien to Ghanaians, has been practiced by the Indian community in Ghana for the past 70 years. In 1987, the Ghana Cremation Society was formed in Kumase. Cremation is performed by two methods, namely the pie method and the gas or electric method. In the PAR method, the PAR is made of firewood and the dead body, enclosed in an open coffin, is laid on the PAR. The PAR is lit after the performance of religious and traditional faith and beliefs in accordance with the wishes of the deceased person.
Cremation is just as you see over there, it reducing the uh, body which has been left behind by a beloved one into ashes by fire or by gas or by electricity. The concept is to save land for the living generally and for you know, health safety reasons. Cremation had not been our you know, uh, custom but it had been the best way of disposing of you know, bodies left behind by loved ones. And those of us who believe in safety, and those of us who believe in leaving enough you know, available space of land for our generation, for farming and for agricultural purposes, we have opted to do cremation. It's uh, non-religious. It's just a way of disposing of the body. Even the Bible says ash to ash and dust to dust. You know, dust to dust is the normal burial process. But ash to ash is to reduce the body to ash by way of burning the body. You know, why is it that, you know, in various communities, those who are murderers, those who are very wicked, when they die, they burn them. Now, they burn them with the, with the assumption that the spirit or the spirit lingering around their location will leave their location. You get the point. Why not you also, you know, disposing of your body, you know, quite easily and quickly and safely and to allow your body to go where it should go. If you belong to the cremation society, if you pay up a cremation fee up to 300 cities, you will have the benefit of shroud, uh, coffin, transportation to the cremation ground, everything. So if you pay 300 cities, you you you, you will dispose of your body safely. First, when somebody passes on or somebody dies, the body is sent to the morgue. When it's a natural death, we get a cause of death certificate from the medical officer who was looking after the person before death. This is the cause of death certificate that goes the first step, issued by the medical officer who was attending to the diseased, now diseased. Then secondly, we have the medical referee report, who is another, the second doctor who also issues his certificate. Then, we register the death with the birth and death for a burial permit. In this case, it should be a cremation permit, but because 
cremation is something new. They haven't designed, so we still use the burial permit, but it's marked cremation. Then it has to be endorsed by the AMA. That's, that says that they are satisfied and they are giving the go-ahead for the cremation to take place. Move, the last respect we give, like people say we are going to pay our last respect, in cremation circles we don't waste money. The only respect I give to the dead, departed soul going, is to move my sandals. That is the only respect for it and nothing else. The camphor is a fast burner. I don't want to talk anything spiritual, I want to go scientific. But it has its own spiritual aspects also. And we blend two things to do cremation. We have the slow and the fast burner. The fast burners start and then the slow burner takes off. And then the slow burner finishes everything. So if you don't put the fast burner, you won't achieve your aim. What about the myths associated with the process? It, it has to do with the customs, the traditions of the people. You know, uh, some time ago, that was in the early 70s, somebody did a survey, you know, he interviewed a number of people and uh, he was a pastor actually. And uh, there was 100% aversion for cremation. Nobody wanted to be cremated. See, but now the picture is different, you know, people have started, you know, but mostly they are foreigners, those who opt for cremation when they die, they are mostly foreigners. Gradually it is picking up among the Ghanaians, the number is now appreciating, you know. I am thinking that people are not going in for cremation because of the way cremation is done in Ghana. If you go to Osu Cemetery, for instance, they do open burning. You see, they put the casket there and surround it with firewood and burn it. And uh, that, you see, it is not something you know uh, which will attract people to uh, to be cremated when they die. So I think the way the cremation is being done is another factor. In Europe, where they use ovens, many people go in for you know cremation. But I think if we can do same here. You know, because for cremation you don't need any space and uh, we, and we don't even have the space now so why don't we go in, in for cremation after cremation the ashes are allowed to cool and collected the following morning and kept in an urn But what will the family do with the ashes? The families will come, we sit together, and we decide what to do. And, and it's only going to be dumping it in the sea or any lake or river. Since land is becoming scarce by the day, cremation may be the best option to dispose of the dead. But it certainly depends on an individual's wishes.